at 11, Republican Tom Tancredo announcing that he will run for governor of Colorado. Throwing his hat into the ring is in part a response to Governor Hickenlooper's decision yesterday to give Nathan Dunlap a reprieve from execution. 7 News reporter Tyler Lopez joins us now live. And Tyler, you just spoke with former Congressman Tancredo. And Bertha, he fully realizes it's not Tancredo versus Hickenlooper part two, not yet. But he does say he wants to get into the race. He thinks the governor made the death penalty a campaign issue on Wednesday. As he put it, he thought John Hickenlooper was again trying to play both sides. Not something you normally hear about Tom Tancredo. He joined KHOW's Peter Boyles this morning, and he says this time he's in as a Republican. He feels the Democratic control of both the state house and executive branch has made for radical and reactionary policies. But that doesn't mean Tancredo walks in as a GOP darling. You'll recall that Tancredo, as an American Constitution Party candidate, helped fracture the conservative vote in 2010 when he walked away with more than triple the votes of the actual Republican gubernatorial candidate, Dan Mays. But Democrat John Hickenlooper, he walked away with 51 percent of the vote in the win. And Tancredo knows this time Hickenlooper may brand him as the radical. I believe that there's some balance that needs to be restored in the state of Colorado. I believe the governor is a nice guy. I know him, uh, been on the stage with him, debated him, and uh, he is a nice guy, but he's not a leader, and the state needs leadership. Tancredo says he knows his hardline stance on immigration as a former U.S. congressman will certainly be part of the discussion. And we expect to hear from state party chairman Ryan Call about all this later today right here. But they've already got other folks who've expressed interest in this job, like state senator Greg Brophy, state treasurer Scott Gessler. But Tancredo says he knows it's going to be hard, but he's ready to start, as he put it, begging for campaign contributions now. Live in Centennial this morning, Tyler Lopez, 7 News. Quite an announcement this morning. Thanks, Tyler. Well, Governor Hickenlooper is defending his decision to put Nathan Dunlap's execution on hold, telling 7 News he doesn't believe capital punishment works. Well, certainly, as you get immersed in the facts around death, the death penalty, you become more and more perplexed. It's not a deterrent. Right? It doesn't bring closure to all the families of the victims. In many cases, they're disappointed by it. It costs four times, five times more than just giving someone life without parole. So why are we doing it? Is, is there a benefit that comes from me saying yes, from me uh, executing this, this, this criminal? Right? And I, I couldn't find it. Meanwhile, a member of the jury that convicted and sentenced Nathan Dunlap to death is speaking with 7 News. Steve says he feels Governor Hickenlooper's decision to grant a reprieve is an insult to the legal system. The jurist system is there, and he might have set it back many years by what he did. Why do you need a jury? The governor's office tells 7 News Dunlap continues to remain in segregation in prison this morning because Colorado doesn't really have an official death row.